Hi everyone, it's Danielle of Etc. by Danielle Designs bringing you a quick tutorial today on how to add a border or stroke to your photo on any page that you may be working with. If you're listening to this during the Scrapper Bowl 2015 event, then you can use this tutorial for the interception challenge. I'm going to get us started by using a page of my granddaughter that I created and I used some products available in store. Off to the left you'll see the preview that I used the Sew Selfie Mini Kit, the Sew Selfie Clusters, and then I chose a template from the Fuss Free Strong Foundation set by Fiddle DD Designs. One of the first things that I'm going to do is make sure that my photo is selected. If you look over here to the right side of my layers palette, I do have it highlighted and I can see that it's selected on the page. So I'm going to go up to Edit, down to Stroke Outline Selection, and when I click on that, it opens up a dialog box. That dialog box is really all we're going to need for the purposes of this tutorial. Within the dialog box, you'll notice that there's a blending mode, opacity, and checked preserve transparency. We're going to leave those alone. They're fine just the way that they are, especially for this tutorial. Under location, this is where we can choose depending on how we want our border to have its edges. If we choose inside, our border is going to have the same crisp corners and lines that our photo has. If you choose center or outside, you'll still have a border, but the very corners will have a rounded edge. I'm going to choose inside for this tutorial because I want it to have the same edges as the other edges of the square pieces of elements on my page. The next thing we need to determine is the width of our stroke. That's going to be the actual width of the border around our photo. Of a photo this size, I generally stay with about a 25 to 30 px. This is something that's a personal preference and as you play you can determine whether or not you want to decrease or increase that amount. For the color, I want a color that is going to pop and match my page and in this case I'm going to choose a white. I can go anywhere on my page, click on a color and that's the color that my border is going to be. You can click on this and say that you want a blue one. Whatever shows up here is what your color is going to be for your border. I'm going to use white for the purposes of this tutorial and to help my photo pop off of this particular page. Once we have all this done, all we do is click OK. You will notice now that we have this great little border around our photo with a nice clean edge and I think it really does make a difference in helping my photo highlight better on the page. I hope this inspires you to play some with the tools in your PSE and that you can use this on some pages that you work with. Thanks for coming by and listening to me and good luck with the challenge.